Chisomo and good morning. God is good all the time and all the time the Lord is always good. We want to thank God for another day that the Lord has given us. It's a blessing to see another day. We have seen this day by the grace, nothing else but grace. Remember, it's all about Jesus. It's all about the Holy Spirit. We can't move without the Holy Spirit strengthening us for the moment. We can't win without the Holy Spirit strengthening us for the battle. We can't break through without the Holy Spirit giving us the grace to break through. I want you to invite the Holy Spirit to start with us this morning. Dear Holy Spirit, we depend on you. We need you. Fill our heart as we worship. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. I want to take you from the Word of God, the book of Prophet Jeremiah, chapter number 39. I'll read two verses, verse 17 and verse number 18. And I'll read for the glory of God. The scripture says, But I will rescue you on that day, declares the Lord. You will not be handed over by those you fear. I will save you. You will not fail by the sword, but you will escape with your life because you trust in me, declares the Lord. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus Christ's name. The Lord spoke to prophet Jeremiah that go and tell Ebed Melech that I, the Lord, have heard, I've seen him that he trusts in me. And I'll rescue him on that day. Why? Because he trusts me. Because he believes in me. Whatever he fears, I'll not handle him over to it. What a wonderful word that the Lord has given us. When we start the day, we always have anxiety, have fear. We don't know what will happen to us on that day. We don't know how it is going to end. We don't know how it's going to progress. But God is aware. And he said, whatever you fear, God will not hand over you to, you, to it. Because you trust him. So the most victory in a day is to trust God. To believe that I've walked up this morning, I want to walk with the Lord. And I trust the Lord who will see me through. I trust the Lord who will give me victory. I trust the Lord who will clear a way for me. Are you facing challenges in your business? Trust him. The Bible says when you trust him, whatever you fear, God will not hand over to it. Because God loves those who trust him. Have faith in God today. We walk with the Lord. Whoever walks with the Lord will walk not by sight, but by faith. When you walk by faith, receiving is like breathing. Receiving is like testifying every day. I know you are going to testify today. I know God will open the doors that you have never even knocked. God will still not open them. You have never even seen them. God has seen them already for you. Today will be a day of testimony. I prophesy wherever you go, whatever you fear, God will not handle it over to you. Whatever you are afraid of, God will not allow you to be part of that problem. God will rescue you. God will protect you and God will guide you. You walk by him. The Bible says, those who walk by the Lord, the Lord shall not put them to shame. God will not allow you to be part of the shame. The shame in the finances, the shame in your head, the shame in your family, it will never be part of you. Why? Because you trust God. Thank you for trusting God today. Let's walk with him. Let's go believing that God will do it again as he did to Abel in the time of prophet Jeremiah. But Abel Merkel received that message and life was never a problem to him. And you too, I prophesy today, may God rescue you, may God protect you, may God guide you today in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe, call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll be more than happy to come back to you. We believe together. We can stop Satan from killing, stealing, and destroying that life. If you're watching us through Facebook, we beg you, please share to somebody. Please like our page. 
and tell somebody what the Lord has done into your life because I know your life will become a testimony. If you're watching us through YouTube, please subscribe. Press that button there and subscribe. And you can share and send us a, a comment. We want to hear what the Lord has done into your life. Thank you for watching. And kumugirai. Zabwin. Zidakari. Zikubera. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You just relax in the precious hand of the Holy Spirit. You are very safe on that hand. I'm waiting to see you again tomorrow on the same time, the same program. God bless you.